All right, welcome to Lima. We're back here after uh, three days in Cusco. We're uh, in our Airbnb. It's a nice kitchen setup. Uh, the first thing to notice, you don't see this much. This is the elevator. The ele once you get off the elevator, it leads you right into this apartment. There's my Biebs. It's a nice fancy refrigerator. Yeah, Daewoo. I used to own a Daewoo. was my first car ever. <laughs> And there's a, a nice stove with a big sink here. Yeah. Oh, there's a coffee pot, a blender. But this is a selling point right here. Oh, there's dishes. You get a nice view of the uh, Pacific Ocean right there. Ocean front, front view. Wow. There's not that much. Nice. Not much noise going on. Real peaceful. This is the bedroom. This is where the magic happens. I think that's what they said in that show, that famous MTV show. <laughs> More Aww, ocean nice front view. Yeah. Let's oh. See what the bathroom's all about. Okay. What's this right here? I think you just going into this way. It's just is this? Bubble. Is there like an access? Yeah. <laughs> I mean that. Yeah, it's over. Is that what I think it is? A shower? That's a shower. Wow, look at that. That's interesting. It's a big bubble. Yeah, it's just, oh, so you can have like view of the shower from, okay. It's a nice uh, shower head up there. So, if I wanted a shower and I wanted you to see me shower, <laughs> that's interesting. I think we have a bidet. A bidet. It's real fancy now. Bathroom. Yeah. Fun shower. What do we got for clothes? Oh, this is the uh, washer and dryer. Nice. Not bad. Yeah. Okay. This extra. Oh, we're getting extra pillows. I see there's only two on the bed. <laughs> yeah, that's a mark across the wall. Uh, do you want to tell them how much we paid for this? This was a, a night. What's the breakdown of night? Um, came around to like fifty dollars a night for eight days. Uh -huh. So, not bad. All right. So after taxes and fees, it was like fifty dollars a night. All right, guys. We'll catch you. Well, I'm gonna drink my coffee right here in the morning. Right here. Uh. <laughs> Look at this. I can get used to this. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll catch you in the next step of our uh, theme adventure now that we're back from Cusco. Bye now. All right, so we decided to get out of the Airbnb and have some fun. Gonna walk around Parque Antonio Raimondi. That's our Airbnb in the back. All right, sweetheart. Let's go for a walk. Let's go. So you come up to the boardwalk along the coast. And you also get a nice view. You can hear the waves. There's a parasailer, paraglider. I'm not sure the difference. Ah, uh, there you go. Maybe somebody can fill me in on what the difference is. Yeah. If you go on a walk, you got some workout spots on this walk. Temperatures are not too bad. Slightly windy when you're on right off the coast, but it's real nice. He had trouble landing. Did you see that? He had trouble landing. He had to. He's gonna go back in. Uh, yeah. No way. That looks super sketchy. Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> it's 
Good workout, babe. It's not working out. No? All right. <laughs> we'll try to find another one. Yeah. All right, sweetheart, I think this is one of the places you were looking forward to see the most. Where it is. It's the Parque del Amor, the Love Park. Can you feel the love in the air? Almost. Almost fell there. But yeah, I could definitely feel the love. The love in the air tonight? Absolutely. Sounds like a famous song. All right, let's walk around, see what, what else we got around. So this one translates that you are on top of the infinite sea. All right. Uh, the wind is bland when it's approximately um, heartbeat. Yeah, I'm bilingual, but sometimes it's hard to translate what they want to say, you know, in literature. Love. I love you for all of... What does that one say? That I love for all of... And then it blew, just, yeah, blew it just out. Oh, you tried these. <laughs> How many years of Spanish did you take? I took four years in high school and two years in college. And I can't... Like, maybe try, uh, communicate with a toddler. That's about go. the level of my speaking. <laughs> Unfortunately, there was some uh, copyrighted music in the background, but there's Melissa asking for some recommendation from the barista for some coffee. She ended up getting what's called the uh, Puku Dark, um, which kind of features some real good uh, cacao chocolate uh, flavored coffee. She'll later tell you uh, what she thought of it. Alright, so I had what's called the Puku Gringo. Uh, it's American style coffee with a little milk. So a cafe con leche kind of thing. You give this a shot. It's real rich. Real rich in taste. Um, I like it. Perfect level of sugar. Perfect balance between coffee and milk. Don't know if it's a 5 out of 5, but real close. So you guys stop by Puku Puku when you're uh, here in Peru. Right, guys this is finally cool enough that I can drink it that's why I didn't drink it earlier but let's see how this is the puku dark mmm that tastes like a smooth liquid dark chocolate there's not really a strong coffee flavor but that's okay because the it's not bitter it's just like the richest dark chocolate mm, wonderful crossing the streets here and leave is no easy feat but lucky us except for this car right here lucky us no cars all right we're gonna order some ice cream here at bembo's it's like a mcdonald's Peruvian spot but you know how it is all right what do you got this is a uh, pono vanilla this oh, no. is just vanilla ice cream we wanted um the chocolate dipped vanilla ice cream mm -hmm. But they were out of it. I've noticed. I don't know if it's because of the pandemic, but they uh, tend to be a lot out of a lot of everything. Um, hopefully, it's just a sign of the times, and they will get back to what it used to be. All right, let's give these ice creams a shot. Good to go. Let's go. All right, guys. This vanilla ice cream is just soft serve vanilla, but the the vanilla flavor is so intense and it's so creamy. It puts soft serve vanilla in America to shame. Really? This is amazing. That good. This is the best soft serve I've ever had. And you're already saying that on your first uh, ice cream try. Mm. It's so good. The, the flavor of vanilla is so intense. Mm -hmm. It's none of this like watery stuff we have at home.
Beans. We're at a skate park. I guess all the, the kids come here to skate and do their BMX biking. Pretty cool. Yeah. So our uh, taxi driver dropped us off at the wrong spot. We were looking for our Airbnb. But either way, we're gonna make a nice walk out of it. Ain't that right, sweetheart? Yeah, you can't go wrong with a walk along the beach. Yeah. A nice little path here. So you're getting a nice overcast weather. I mean, gray skies, but light wind. It's not too cold. Nice beachy weather, right? Perfect. Maybe not for swimming, but yeah. just for looking at the beach. Huh? Yeah. And he's selling ice cream in the uh, slightly cold weather. So I just found now, asking security guards in the area, we overshot the landing real bad by like 12 blocks. But we're still making a nice walk out of it. Look at that view again. Once again, we're in Miraflores. It's a coastal uh, district in Lima. Still get that nice view. Walking with my honey bone. <laughs> We just came from Wong's, the supermarket. Yeah. I got my giant bottle of water, so I'm yeah. ready to go. She can't live without water. Nope. I guess most of humanity also can't live without water. Everyone except for you. Everyone except for me. <laughs> just give me Arizona iced, uh, what is it, Arizona green tea? Yep. Real cold. Uh, I, I'm good, I'm good with that.